Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. I hope you are ready for another <coughs> week of fun. I am going to be pre-taping today just because of the, the video issues I had last week. And so hopefully that's okay. Just make sure you chat along with me as I will be watching live as well at the same time as you. So I'm gonna use um, the In The Moments stamp set today. And I love the card. So I, I won't, I, I, I probably like my twist one better. That's just me. But, um, so hopefully you will like this card. And so let me stop blabbing so we can get started. All right, here we go. I talked about my goodies and guts for April. And I told you that I would be showing you like the pieces so I could explain it better. So this month, usually I just have one goodie to pick from, but I only have a limited amount of the rhinestone waves, basic jewels, because these are no longer available. So I have two choices. So you can pick the rhinestone waves, basic jewels, or there's faux sea glass shapes. And you earn um, my goodies and guts if you order 75 before tax and shipping in the month. That could be a cumulative orders. So you could order um, $50 and then you would actually get a reward point, which I'm totally probably confusing you about because you also earn reward points. But those are on a $50 order before tax and shipping. And that one is not a cumulative. But say you ordered $50 at the beginning of the month and later on in the month, you ordered you know, another $35 or something before tax and shipping. Those two orders would come to over 75. So you would choose the goodies or the guts. So that's what I'm talking about. So you have your choice of rhinestone basic jewels or the faux sea glass. But if I run out of these, then it's just the faux sea glass. So some of you have already ordered. And um, so, you know, I'm down a couple of these but some people are picking these so um so just know that that might happen and these are the cards so basically what the guts are it is like a free class in the mail because all you have to do is watch these videos that i have po i have done in my youtube channel in the prior month or so and you can make your card right along with the video and Hopefully that doesn't keep working. Um, and then um, you just make it along. Now, nothing is stamped on your um, guts, I like to call them. So you do, will just use what you have at home or you could order what you need um, to make the cards exact. So these are the three cards. And let me show you what would come in the guts packet. So inside your packet, it's basically like a class. So if you've ever done a class with me, you'll be very familiar, familiar how I do my classes. So you have your envelope and inside your envelope, so this one would make uh, this card here. So inside your envelope, it's all the pieces that you need. Everything is cut and ready to go. So you've got your, um, your inside pieces. So here's the inside, your little strip. To decorate the inside, you can see here, there's the inside of the card. Like I said, nothing is stamped on them. You would just use what you have at home. And you can totally just use a stamp that you have at home. You don't have to make it identical. This piece here is what you'll stamp your focal image, your flower on, and cut that out. You've got your um, pieces here for the front, your vellum and your DSP. You've got your beautiful little doily and your two die cut pieces right here. So that's one card. Right. Let's see here. Let's see. And then just a little po post-it note to tell you like that's your in incentive. All right, so this is a this card that we're, I'm showing now. So you've got your, your crumb cake, you have your inside piece right here. You've got pieces for the front. 
as well. And then your little tag that you'll need. And then the ribbons, they're in a separate baggie and I'll show you those in a second. So that's card two, and this is the, the finished card. And then card three, is this one here? Oh, it might be my favorite. Can I have a favorite? I think I can, but I love all of them. I love that blue, the misty on um, moonlight. All right, so we have our basic black cardstock. So then again, you have your inside pieces. So if you follow along the video, it makes a lot more sense probably than me going through it quickly here. Then you have your two pieces here. This is what you'll stamp your um, cactus cuties on and cut out. And then you have your DSP for the front as well in your little envelope. So let me show you the finished card. But like I said, if you don't have the, the, um, the stamp sets that I use, you can order them if they're still available or just use what you have at home. So there's the finished card there. So that's the three cards. And then you have a business card. And then here are your embellishments and your ribbons all cut ready to go because you'd use butterflies. You use the pebbles, you used um, the base, the classic matte dots. Now, sometimes your um, embellishment might vary. Like in the little pebbles, you might get, you know, two crumb cake and a gray. They might not always be identical, but there's that. And it just goes in a little baggy, like this. And then it will come with a thank you card. When I send you your thank you card for your April order, you will get this little packet. Now, if you want both, I have a lot of people that earn both each month. And all you have to do is order 200 in the month. And that's a cumulative. So you could put three different orders in. And if those come to 200 before tax and shipping for the month, then you will earn both the goodies and the guts. So I do send an email and that just explains, you know, like, let me know if you want the goodies or the guts. If I don't hear from you um, by the end of the month, then I will just send you um, the, the um, incentive of my choice. So you need to make sure you holler at me. Otherwise it's gonna be a surprise in the mail. All right, so that again is the goodies or the guts for April. All right, so let me clean up and we will get started with the cute card for today. All right, so Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So today I am actually pre-taping. So it looks a little bit different is because I've been having issues. I did talk to the phone company and I have ordered an extender. So I'm hoping that will just make my um, modem in my studio be stronger and I won't have um, the buffering and the problems I've been having. Um, for my last couple of videos have been, I've been having issues. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna um, pre-tape for a little bit and then um, I will watch the video live with you and we can just chat on the side. So um, it's a little bit different in regards to if somebody asks me a question, I can't respond verbally, but I can respond in the chat off to this side. If you don't see the chat, then it is um, a replay, okay? All right, so let's get started. So this is the card I'm gonna do here. This is the in the moment, and it actually uses some things that are retiring, which um, when I pulled out the, the um, recipe, I was like, oh, that's retiring, and this is retiring. So anyways, all right, so let me get started here. All right. Side. All right. Now, one thing I noticed on the on the recipe, it didn't mention certain things, and then certain things it mentioned, I was like, "Where in the heck is that being used?" So, like pool party was not mentioned, but I could certainly see that pool party was the card base. So we've got our um, pool party card base. Let's see. And since I pre-taped this one, we're doing this live in a way. So I didn't have one made ahead of time like I normally do. All right, so we have 
these are the other items that we're also using today. So the pierced blooms are where the cute little flowers come from. And this is actually retiring. And the ornate floral die, our embossing folder, we used as well on the, um, hang on a minute. I'm going to turn my speaker down a little bit. All right. So we are using the ornate floral. So we have bumblebee. So this is a car, this is a DSP that is or cardstock color that is retiring. We have misty moonlight again, that is retiring. So there was a few things on this card that are leaving. This DSP is actually that hostess pattern party which is also leaving and this one too. So I was like, wow, I picked quite the card with all these little things retiring. But at the same time, it's giving you a chance to get them ordered and then stitched rectangle die. That one I had a look at because I never even noticed that when I first started the card. One thing it said was used that I could not see on the card. So I didn't use it. So if I don't see something on the card, I don't use it because I'm like, it's not an obvious thing. All right, so let's see here. So these are my pieces. So here's the rectangle that we're gonna stamp our grading on. So I'm just gonna move all these over here. All right, so I'm gonna stamp the girl and the puppy in misty moonlight. So this is the Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So the first card I do is the catalog version. Now, like I said, there might be something they mentioned on the recipe that I don't notice, so I didn't use it. All right, so there's my little girl. I'm gonna let her dry a little bit before I start messing with her because we're just gonna cut her out. I also want my greeting. I love the greetings in this set. Let's see, I'm looking for my jig. All right, so we're just gonna make up our jig here. And I'm also gonna stamp the greeting with the misty moonlight. So that is one that I'm gonna miss. I think the, the colors I'm missing the most from the um, retiring is misty moonlight and magenta madness. So some of them are already gone. So if you're wanting these, you're gonna to wanna to grab them like right away, if you still can, because it changes like hourly probably as people order, order stuff. Especially when we're coming off of a weekend, right? Because then people are, you know, they're online more probably if they have, if they work outside of the home. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I also want a little piece for the inside. And I'm going to use a strip of DSP, or here it is. So that this is just going to be on the inside of the card. So we can put it, I'm going to put it up and down. And this is from the Pansy. So yeah, so there was like three different kinds of DSP used on this card. So this DSP is also retiring. So I'm just putting that along the edge like that. And then I thought, oh wait, that's gonna be, nope. I'm gonna keep going. That's for my twist card. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. So I don't have anything on the inside for the card. I got all excited there for the twist card. So you're gonna have to hold on a second for that one. Right. So we have, this is on the inside. And this way you can write whatever you want. Or if you know what you want on the card, you can put it on when you need it. I like having cards made ahead of time that I can just pull from when I need a card. All right, so let me get my scissors. So let's car cut our girl out. And so she simply is stamped with the Misty Moonlight. So the first card is pretty easy. So my twist is gonna have a little bit more going on. That's the whole fun part about doing Mimeograph Monday. 
with a twist. All right, so let me cut that paper out of my way here. I find that it gets hung up on the screw or the bolt or whatever the heck is in the scissors. So sometimes it catches on the cardstock. Just cutting one out. I love her little socks with that little band on the end of them. And the cute little puppy giving her some snuggles. All right, so that's going to go on there. We have her girl. She's going to go on here. So I do need to trim her just a little bit more. So she fits a little better. So I just have to give her a little more trimming. Okay, so then we have DSP. So these need to be a little shorter. So they can go either, it's just um, either which way, right? It doesn't really matter which way it is. So I'm going to cut strips. So let me get my paper cutter. I'm going to close my ink pad. I'm not getting ink all over. All right, so we have, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have DSP. And I'm going to say they might be an inch or so, but I'm not going to worry too much about measuring. I'm just going to cut random strips. Oh, except you know what? I'm so used to using my other cut. All right, so I need to bring that back. All right, so we're going to go strip. I'm just going to cut some random strips of paper, and then we'll have them to use on multiple cards. If you like Mr. Moonlight like me, make sure you get some. All right, so there's just a few. Right, now this piece, He's got that awesome embossing on it. And, and these will probably have to be shorter and then I'll just use my scissors. So it's just gonna be a quick little nip. I'm just using all of these pieces. So ahead of time, I just embossed it and I, bought, I embossed a whole piece of paper so that it's a lot easier than cutting your strips and then embossing them individually. Just cut your paper big, emboss it big, and then you can trim it as you need it. Easy peasy. All right. Then, and I have plenty more if I need to find some more strips. All right. So we have this paper. I really love the symmetry paper. That's what this is. This is the um, symmetry DSP. It's got such fun colors to it. So make sure you don't miss um, getting the DSPs as well because they retire because a lot of times they have in colors in them. So we retire them. And sometimes we carry them over like the In Good Taste, the one that has all the wood and stuff like that. We kept that for two years, but it is retiring as well. I didn't use that today, but it is one that I use a lot when I take my photos because it takes awesome, uh, it doesn't reflect. All right, so I think that is pretty good for now. And that paper cover back here on the table. Right. I think I need those classic dots too. I think, I think, I think. Okay, so let's see. Let's put our card together. So now we have these strips of DSP. So let's just put them in place. So we have DSP, we have cardstock. So we've got our blues together. We have our pretty pink together. And, oh, you know what I forgot to cut? I forgot to cut my paint paper. 
Hold on a second. You might see more boo-boos if I do it this way. Because we're just doing your card live, right? So that's going to either be a good thing or a bad thing. All right, so there's my three little pieces. All right, so I put that card back over. So I'm just like getting them in place because then I'll trim them shorter as I need to. So that looks good. So those are my, my layer pieces. And then I'm just going to, so I'm looking at the card. So I'm just going to trim, trim, just gonna give them a haircut so that they're just random lengths. I turned my air conditioner off. It's starting to get warm in Arizona. So I might have to turn it on because I'm like sweating up a storm. Okay, so let's get our pieces on our card. So I'm just gonna use my seal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on one side and they're kind of crooked, right? And then I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna kind of work in. We're gonna go like this. So we're gonna make this one be kind of crooked too. And we're just making this cute, almost like a little puzzle on our card. And our pink. Pink. So fun, right? Like this is so such a great card for using up those strips of paper. Now this is where I go. So see, I have that last, I went from one side and I started and worked over because this gives me my end. If you go here and just keep going this way, you might have too much space here or not enough. So start one and so see how I did that. So now I know, okay, I've got a little bit more space so I can pick. Let's see, did I cut one a little thicker? Hang on a minute. I think I cut this one a tad bit thicker. Yes. So see, I have this one is a little bit thicker. So then I'm able to put that in place. So see that? So that's all good to go. And I'm just using my seal. You could totally use dimensionals if you wanted to be, have some um, layer, more layers to it. All right. Now this is gonna go on with dimensionals though, because I do want that to pop up. So let me get my large dimensionals. We'll pop that up. I'm also going to pop up our girl. This is such a fun card and it does. It's great to use up your DSP and your strips of paper. Let me move her up just a little bit. So it could be any color, right? You could use any DSP. All right, so she's gonna go on here like that. So she kind of squishes into the words there. All right, so just like before when I've done cards, I don't wanna put my dimensionals on her because I don't want them over here. I just want them like here. So I'm just kind of visually seeing where she's at. I'm just gonna grab four. So I know she's there. I'm just not peeling the backs off of it. I think three is good. Eh, maybe four. All right. So then I can lay her on those dimensionals. So got her right there. She's super cute. And then on the card are these little flowers. So I did a bunch of little flowers. These are from that pierced dye that's retiring. And I'm just going to use the green tip glue to stick them on the card. So let me get my pick tool as well. Let's pick those little pieces up. 
All right, so I'm just visually looking at where the flowers are and I'm just gonna put a little drop. Let me get my glue started. Hold on, squeeze that glue, there we go. So I'm just gonna, let me scoot down a tad. Maybe I should have been scooted down, but sometimes it makes my hands, see? And it wanna focus on my hands. So sometimes if I'm too close, it's not good because it focuses on the wrong thing. All right, so I'm just putting a little drop of green tip glue and then we'll pick up our little blue flowers. So it's just tone on tone. Tone on tone, and I might have to use more adhesive than that. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing with our pink flowers. One, two, and three. So if you don't have this dye, it is a fun one. Oh my gosh, the flowers have like stitches on them. So it's just a cute, even if you don't get the stamp set that goes with it. And I've done that so many times where I'm not a big fan of the stamp set, but the dye is adorable. So I do that a lot. All right, flower, flower, and flower. And then we're also gonna put the classic dots on there, just to put a little center on our flower. Get on there. All right, here's our little flowers. All right, and then we have our classic matte dots. So see, now I need to go up a little bit. All right, so these are our classic matte dots and we're gonna use the white ones. Let me scoot these flowers over there so I don't lose them. All right, so we have a little baby one in the center of each of our flowers. And then that makes the flower stand out more because you notice that little center. Well, how many do we have here? Nine, right? So there's three in each color. So that's good. That's an uneven number. Three, six, nine. Get those on there. Oh, you know what? I got a flower stuck to my hand. Get on there, girly. There you go. Get, get, get on there. So yeah, so if you have any questions in regards to the goodies and guts, I have a new hostess code for April. And any other questions that you have? All right, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So look how cute. So this is the catalog version. So now we have to do the with a twist version. So I'm excited to do that one. All right, so let me kind of clean up a little bit of my mess here. Are you ready for the twist card? All right, so I picked the same pool party. So I didn't change it tons and tons and tons. All right, so we still have our pool party as our card base. I still have my little piece on the inside, but here's where I almost showed you the twist card on the first one. All right, so we're gonna put this on the side, just like we did the other one but I couldn't resist that there was the cute puppy on the card. So I'm gonna use the Pampered Pets and this is also retiring. So these go really good together because it has the little dog with the girl. So I am going to go with my little dog bowl because the dog is a little different. So I was kind of anal and I was like, well, that's a different puppy. So I'm just gonna put, little dog bowl and I'm going to stamp it with memento because I want to color it later. I'm just going to put my cute little dog bowl but my greeting I'm going to use the memento just like I did before because memento is being used 
on the card um, and the card stock from the DSP. So I still want to use that memento. So I'm just getting this in place. And it just says, I hope your day is a real treat. And that I think that can go for a human as well as puppy. All right, so I'm just gonna stick that right down there. So this time it does have a saying on the inside, but you know what? That saying could go for anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be birthday. It doesn't have to be um, a certain occasion. It's just a true statement, right? Okay, so there's that. I have a piece of paper here for my girl. And I'm going to stamp her with memento because I want to color her. So let's get her inked up so she can dry good while I do my greeting. Stamp our girl just on her basic white. I have the mailman coming today, so hopefully he won't come and do this. All right. So we have her, we're gonna let her dry good. Now I chose a different size rectangle this time. So it's a little bit longer and skinnier. So I need my, I keep putting my, here it is. The thing about having a see-through stamp on my jig folder is it gets lost easy. All right, so we're gonna put her greeting over here. And I'm gonna stamp it again with the memento. So that didn't change. But we're gonna add some color to the girl. So she's not plain this time. But you know what? Some people don't like to sit in color, but I do. <laughs> if you've known me for a second, you'll know that. All right, so she should be Good and dry, I would think by now. Let's do the little, let's color our little, um, what's gonna call it? What is that? Dog bowl, our cute little dog bowl. All right, so I have a bunch of dimension, or uh, I can't even talk. I got a bunch of embossing. See, look at me. I have a bunch of Stampin' Blends, so we're gonna do some coloring. So see, I think I'm almost more nervous when I'm not live, because I'm just talking to myself, it feels like. All right, so we're gonna go light gray granite underneath, just so that that bowl is not floating in the air. We're gonna put a little bit of water inside, because this is a water dish. I'm gonna have it be a water dish. A little bit of dark pool party and light pool party. And it is one of those colors that just does not show up very good on camera. All right. Then I'm going to go, this is going to be polished pink because we've got that pink going on on the front. So dark polished pink. And light polished pink. Or bowl. Isn't that cute? So adorable. All right. So that's the inside. So we'll set that aside. All right. So now let's get our girl colored. So let's give her some healthy little cheeks. Even though you don't see much of her face, I'm still going to put a little bit of pink on there. Same with on our pup. Let's see. I also am going to give a little bit of pink to her coffee cup. So this is the fun part where, where we can um, play with some colors. And I'm like, is that, a, is that a blanket or is that a top? All right. And then we're gonna go dark petal pink on her face and the puppy. And then light petal pink.
finish that up. Oop, I forgot her hands. And my cute little pop. And I'm going to put a little bit of petal pink on the pop's belly. And I think this might be her leg. So let's just pretend that that's her leg showing underneath her pants. She's relaxing, right? Okay. Then we'll just decide what, um, what is what, right? Okay, so let's, 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 so I chose the colors that, um, that are with the DSP. So we need, let's see here, let's give you my flirty flamingo. The rest of the cup, hang on a minute. And then to me, it looks like this is, um, it's like a hot cup of coffee. So I'm gonna make it be a hot cup of coffee. And then it almost looks like this could be a swirl, like the heat coming from the coffee, who knows? Right. Okay. So this is bronze and I also want some ivory. So we're going to take the bronze and we're going to add that to the puppy. I love the bronze. So his little face, it's got some bronze to him and we'll leave his, his little um, ear, not all the way colored in. So he's got a little bit of color to him, little variation of color. I think that might be dog as well. Isn't it funny? It's like, well, is that dog? Is that dog? All right. And then we'll just do um, ivory. Now, if you have the tones, the tones would work too for the puppy, but I'm just picking bronze and ivory because those you should be able to get. So just give him a little bit of color. To add more is that ivory softened that up just a little bit as that color went over. But I think that's good for our puppy. I'm going to give her some blue jeans. So let's see how dark misty moonlight is. So I'm going to just go like this and see because we're just playing. All right. So let's see if her misty moonlight. So this is light misty moonlight. We're going to give her pants. I'm just going to color them all in misty because the dark one is pretty dark. So I'm not going to add a lot of the dark. I'm just going to color her whole pants in with misty. And then we'll just go back and just put a little dark here and there. And this just makes this image pop, right? and then the dark misty. So like I said, dark, the dark misty is pretty dark. Let me scoot just a little bit. But I hate when it focuses on the marker, which it will do. So let me check. If it focuses on the marker, I need to go up a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit. We don't want too much because it is such a dark blue. So just a tad here and there, the misty. But I wanna use that because we have misty in our cardstock. All right, so we don't have a bumblebee in the cardstock, but we have a daffodil. So that is totally what I'm gonna use instead. And it, and it, it goes plenty good enough. All right, so I'm gonna have her pillows, have some daffodil. She's got a very cute little bed set. We've got daffodil here and there. Let's see, also down here. So this is fun, right? It's kind of like, okay, what am I gonna put, what colors where? So this would have a little daffodil. I'm just kind of making her bedding. All right, so light daffodil and dark daffodil for her pillows and parts of her comforter. 
This makes me want to get a book and start get back to my book, I should say. All right. So now this part, I'm just going to have that be the bed. So let's grab our pool party because we have pool party as well on our card. So I like to have there to be some sort of reference back to the cardstock. So I'm saying she's snuggled up into the blankets and petting her cute little puppy. I miss Toby. Oh, I miss Toby. I have little pictures of him beside the bed. And I say, bye, night, night, Toby, every night. Our fur babies, boy, they touch our hearts, don't they? Okay, I can't talk anymore about Toby or I'll be blubbering. All right, so there's our pool party. And let's go back to our gray granite. So like we had for the um, the floor that the book was, or the, uh, whatchamacallit was on. The water bowl. So I'm just using dark gray granite. So her bedding is like a gray, or like, the sheets on the bed or whatever. All right. So I also I'm going to take the light gray and put a little bit as well. But I'm not going to color the whole thing in. I just want it subtly there. I don't, I don't want this big gray mass. All right. Then I'm going to take my light gray granite on her sock. Just on the edge. And then we're going to take those little tips of our socks, which I think are so adorable, and we're going to put them pink. So they go with the, um, the bowl, the water bowl. So isn't that cute? I love that pop of pink on our socks. All right, let's see what else we have her hair. So I did pick a couple of the tonal colors for her hair, but you could totally color it the same as the puppy. So this is just to add her, she's got some different colors in her hair. So that was, what number was that? That was 200 and this is 300. So she's got some fun hair going on. And then let's do the book. What would be fun if is you could, oh, that would be cool, right? Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Oh, look at me thinking. I'm thinking. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do some paper piecing. Let's do some paper piecing. Let's put, let's see. What are the back sides of these paper? What are the back sides of the paper? That's too busy. I'm going to do this one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this book. I'm going to stamp the book on here like that. All right, let it dry for a second. I don't, I don't want this video to be too long. Oh, my gosh, because now I'm not paying attention to the time. All right, so we're going to put a little spine on the book. So I'm going to take my, let's see, what does that look like? That's too dark. I want my light gray granite. All right, so our light gray granite. We're just going to put a little bit so that there's a little bit of color on the pages. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this book out. So now the book has got like a pattern on it. All right, so we're just going to cut this out. And then we're going to glue it right over top. But you know what? Oh, I know. I'm just cutting the book. So the pages will be white because they're on there. So see, I'm just kind of going right. This is when I don't have a card ahead of time. So now you're seeing how my mind works normally. Because usually I do this ahead of time. 
like usually I get it figured out. All right, so I'm just making sure I'm cutting out the right lines. All right, so cool. So now we have a cover on our book. Oh, isn't that adorable? Okay, so we have a cover on our book. And I'm going to go in this just a little bit. All right. So then I'll take that light gray on here. So this way the book doesn't isn't totally just white, right? Where it looks like we forgot to color it in. It has a little bit of color to it. I'm going to put a little bit of pink on her fingers. A little bit of dark flirty on her legs there. All right, so we're going to take our green tip glue. Let me get all these blends out of the way because now we can put our card together. Good grief. Heavens to Betsy and all that. All right, so let's see here. We're going to put our glue on here. And then we're just going to glue our book right on there. So now the book has this cute little design on it. So it's not just plain. You can see her pants. Super cute. All right. So I'm going to let that dry before I touch it to cut or to cut it out because I'm afraid I'll move it too much. All right. So let's bring the card over and get this card going so you can get on with your day. All right. So this is the inside. Oh, I love that book. It, it reminds me of when we used to put book covers on. Remember in school, we would put a cover on our book. All right, so there's that. Scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. Right. Let's get our pieces. Now this time, I embossed this so that the front of our card was not super plain because it's tone on tone. So I embossed it. So it matches the embossing that's on some of the DSP. So let's get our DSP over like we did before. So we're going to trim these just like we did. Give them a haircut. Trim, trim. All right. So just like we did before. So we're going to put this one on here and then over to the side. We'll start and work our way back. All right. So we've got this one and this one. So to me, this just makes it easier, I think when you're trying to lay things out so that you don't run out of room. And then that needs to be trimmed a little bit. So like I said, I just trim them with my scissors to the right length. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna glue. Cause I know those ones fit good. So we have, we have um, pattern, like an, a 3D embossing. So I'm gonna use the green tip glue instead of the seal so that it gets in all the little nooks and crannies of, of our embossed cardstock. So that way it's gonna be good and snug on our card. Same with here, we've got an embossed piece to another embossed piece. Oops, look at that. To another embossed piece. So we definitely want to use the green tip glue. And I have just put the green tip glue that you know was in the catalog. I just stuck it in a little um, empty glue bottle. You can get those on Amazon. All right. So then, so then I'm just going to work my way back. And I'm, I'm putting them kind of crooked. I kind of like that, that look of it being crooked. So, don't you like the flower on the flower? I love that embossing folder. So again, don't forget that that embossing folder is retiring. So if you want to make 
the card the same, you will make sure you grab it. All right. Oh, flowers are upside down. Hold on a minute. Maybe nobody would even notice. Right here. And then the last piece. Okay. And now this, remember I said I made it a little skinnier, but I'm still gonna put it on with dimensionals. Let me see. So now I need to go up. My hands are too big, too big. Focuses on my hands. All right. So I'm hoping that when I get that, what do I call it? Extender or something. The man on at the phone company, he explained all sorts of things I could do. And that was the quickest way to see. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go to the end there. So I'm hoping that works. Okay, so let's cut our girl out. And she's pretty easy to cut out. I'm just gonna do the same thing as I did before, get away most of that extra. So I'm just kind of gonna go around and then we will decide if we're gonna leave all of that bedding or not. So I'm going pretty close. Look at that cute book. This would be a nice card to give somebody if you um, give somebody a book for a present. Wouldn't this be a cute little card to give them? Or even she's drinking a beverage. You could even put like a, a Starbucks gift card or something like that in there as well. I know I am so bad, I love to read, but I fall asleep so easy. It's like I have to be doing something to keep myself awake, which is so bad. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we're gonna leave that bedding on there. I kind of like to have the bedding on there. What do you think? I kind of like that. It looks fluffy and I just want to snuggle up with that puppy. All right, so let's do the same thing as we did before. I know where my dimensionals need to go. Stick to my fingers and I have a mess everywhere. So we're going to put this on here. So I'm just putting her around the greeting there. So look how cute. So now her book has some of that paper. I could have did the yellow too, so it was in the inside, but isn't that fun? All right, now we can also do these flowers if we want, but we have these in the catalog. So I wanna have some of these flowers, I think. So these need a little bit of adhesive. So I'm not gonna put as many because they're big. So we're just gonna put a few. So one, two, three, four, five. So I like to put one on here. And then a green tip glue is oozy a little bit, but it will dry clear. All right. Let's see, you want a pink one, a yellow one on the pink, and let's see, let's see, let's see. We have a purple. We don't really have purple on the card, so let's do another pink one. Now, you probably could color these. I could have. I could have colored that with my... It's probably good and dry, but I could have colored my purple one with my misty moonlight. My misty moonlight is in bad shape because I was doing a lot of the flicking, but I could have colored my mist, my purple one with misty moonlight. But now I've glued, I've glued that down. So that's totally fine. All right, so let me show you this one. So here is this one. If you want to put a little um we could put a little center on these. You have to really push them to get them to stay. So sometimes green tip glue 
in that hole works better. But see how it would look? All right. But this video has gone on too long as it is. So let me go back to the catalog one so you can see the difference. So these are the two cards. So this is the catalog version. And then this is my twist card. So which one do you like the best? So did you like that? Oh, I, I just love, I love them both, right? It's like, I think our cards are like our children, right? So we, we really shouldn't like one more than the other, but so hopefully um, you like that. And if you have any questions, if you need any of the um, products that I show, the supply list will be down below. If it's an in-color item, those can be running out like all the time. So I apologize if, if you do try to order um, something that is retiring and it's gone. But um, reach out if you have any any issues and, or any questions on anything I talked about today. All right. So I will see you tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesdays episode 122. And it'll be 3 o'clock. Everyone's in the time. Same time. Same channel. So thanks so much for spending time with me today. Bye.